Okay, this is what we call an OBD2, which is a tracking system that will fit exactly into the OBD port in a vehicle. Every vehicle has got this OBD port somewhere on the dashboard, under the dashboard, and all you do is you plug this part into the vehicle. But before you plug it into the vehicle, you need to first put a SIM card in here. A SIM card will go in there. Let me just see if I've got a SIM card over here. You take a SIM card. A SIM card goes in there. It can only fit in one way. And you put it nicely in there. And that goes tight in there. There's a little hole there, and you can listen into the vehicle when the guys are driving. Here's two lights, two LEDs over here, and once you plug it in, they are blue, and you will see just now, they're blue, and then the one is that there's power, and the other one would be when it's starting to connect to the GPS. It will flicker until it gets... A signal and then it will stop flicking and that's about all it's not very big this is the size of a business card so you can imagine how big it is I can put the business card over it and I can cover it very nice and easy it's a little bit more than the usual tracking device I've plugged it in and I've played with it and I've used it and it's quite good this serial number here is what I use to put it onto the server and once it's on the server and you want it to work that is the bandwidth that I charge for that'll cost you 50 rand a month to just have it on the server you could put airtime in yourself on this one it's not too bad the airtime consists of just data so you can top that up with data you can get uh, data for I think it's about 15 gig now and it costs you probably about in the region of about 20 rand that should last you a month and then you go you can watch the guy tracked on the program and as he moves around and stops and goes and midnight driving, it's all there. And it's as simple as that. When you're ready, you put that in. Good luck.